Hello everyone. Welcome to PR Software's YouTube channel. Today we are going to start the very important series that is Tkinter GUI application. In this, I am going to explain you how to create the Tkinter layouts, how to deal with the basic concepts like label, entry boxes. So all these details we are going to see in today's class. So first, we will try to design this login window application guys. So let us start with the class. So here, as you are already aware of PyCharm, so just create one new file in the PyCharm. File name, whatever you want, you can give it guys. I'm giving GUI layout one. My file is created. Whenever you want to deal with tkinter, first you should import or the tkinter. To import that, we have to write from tkinter import star. Here, one thing you should remember guys, whenever you are creating the file, don't give your file name as tkinter. Because I have seen many of you are giving file name as tkinter.py. So when you give your file name as tkinter, this file will not work internally. So I have seen this mistake many people are doing in the lab, that's why I am telling you. So after that, you create one object of tk class. So here, what you should remember guys, this root is a variable. This variable name, it is not necessary to take root. Whatever name you want, you can give that. But because if you see any Tkinter book or any tutorials on any video, everybody use the root. Root is called the basic window. That's all. Otherwise, you can give any name. Now, root dot main window. So to create one basic layout, these two lines are enough. Make sure here T is capital guys. Don't make it small. Now right click and run this guys. Now see you are able to see one window. Am I right? So everybody up to here you practice it. Once you practice, now go with the next step then. What is the next step? Sir here name is coming TK. But I want to give my own name. Second, this window size is very small. I want to set the size. So two things. I want to set this title and I want to set the size. So let us see now. To set the title, we will write root dot title. In double quotation, you can write your own title. Let us say I am writing here PR space soft. Whatever name you want, you can write guys. And second, as I told, size. So I will write for size geometry. Root dot geometry. If you observe guys, if you are getting any confusion to type, simple thing I will tell you. Root dot. Automatically when you type G, it will get geometry. Don't do spelling mistakes here. Size, how much you want? I want 500, x 500. This is not cross symbol, guys. It is a x. Some people use star. Star will not. Now run again. So see, my window is bigger. My title is set to PS. Everyone clear? Now, what you do is, up to here, whatever these four lines I have given you, practice up to here before going to next. Always make a habit. First two lines, Practice it. These four lines you write, practice separately. After that, you go for the next. Clear? Now, requirement I want to set the background color for this one. So, right now, if you run this program, what is the color you are getting? You are getting some this half white color here. I wanted to make some yellow blue color. Then you have to write root dot config in bracket bg is equals to bg is background in. Whatever you want this, you can write that color. That color will display on the screen. This window we got. Everyone clear up to here? Now you also what points we require. Now my requirement here is guys, I want to create this type of layout. I want this login page, name, PWD, like this I want to create. So here are few points you should remember. Whenever you want to write any text, Text will be displayed by using label concept. So this text, whenever you want to use, we will use what? Label. So in my program, there are three labels. Label 1, Label 2, Label 3. So total, how many labels we have to create, guys? Three labels will be required in my program. So how to create the label? Let me explain you that. So whenever you want to create the label, you have to write label function. This label, internal label will have the name. Let us say I am giving this LB1, nothing but label 1. I am giving here. What is the label text? 
label text what you want this label text is nothing but guys what you want to show on the screen this is nothing but label text so what i want to show guys login page so you write login page whatever you want to show in the front guys that will come in the text okay after that if i run right now you will not get anything on the screen run it am i getting why because you need to place then only it will come on the screen so i will write in lb1 dot place x axis 100 y axis 50 i will explain you what is the meaning of this let me run it is it i will explain you few points remember guys i will open this layout side by side so that i can explain you in a better way see above login page is called the y axis guys so from here to here this distance is called y axis and from here to here it is called x axis so in my program i took x axis is equals to 100 means from here to here distance is 100 now you can increase or decrease as per your requirement similarly y axis i give 50 again say you can increase or decrease as per your requirement everybody clear with why we give x axis and y axis now I will not show again. You should remember it. Okay. Now, login page, guys. Here you will say, sir, login page background is looking little odd. Can I give a no? Yes. So I have to write there. Back PG is equals to no. Make sure that always it is make a habit. Whatever text background is there and your window background that you give same so that it will look good. Now you check. Okay. But here you will say, sir, I don't want black color. I want red color or something. Then that is called FG color, foreground color. What color you want? Let us say I want red color. You give the red. Then font. Font is very small. I want to give the font color. I want to make it bold. See, bold if you want to give, you can give it. Or I can give the font style Arial size is Everybody clear? PG means background, FG means foreground, font is, this is the font name. Whatever name you know, that name you can write, size is this one. Run it. See, we got it. You will say, sir, it is not in center. Can you just little change? What change we have to do, guys? Can anybody tell me? Just X axis, you make it. Because that X axis, you need to change little with this side. Now you see, we got it. Everybody clear with this? The login page we got it guys what is the next we need we need this name label so name is also text text is nothing but what i told label so this is x axis this is y axis okay so here what you should remember guys login page y axis is 50 so name obviously more than this one so you give 80 or 90 something and x axis also this x axis i gave 150 but name is not 150, you can give 50 or 60 something. Okay, let us write here. So I am creating one more label 2. This label 2 is equals to label text is equals to what is the text we want? You can write user better, easy. And rest of the properties you can copy paste guys because we want same background color, foreground color, font, everything I want same. Only one thing we need to change. What is that? Here the size is 20, which is very big. I don't want 20, I will take it 60. Everybody clear with this? Now, up to here, we have done. If I run, will I get my label on the screen? No. Why? Because I do not write place. Let us run again and check it. Not getting. So how to put the label on the screen, guys? So you have to remember there. writing there label 2 dot place what we want x axis is equals to i told you little less compared to that one and y axis is equals to little bit a let us run and check now you observe very carefully x axis means from here to here distance is 100 that is okay though no problem but y axis is making clumsy it is 50 it is 80 just below to that so we need to little increase to understand and guys make sure that 
to explain you properly i am taking this values wantedly different different so that you should understand it practice it properly we got username also so as per the layout everything is fine name is came this one is came so for name i wrote label what about this box now now for this box we should use the concept called entry what do you have to use how to create the entry guys so for the entry we should write like this i will write here box 1 see i am not giving technical names because i want to make it very simple this box 1 is equals to entry i am right don't write anything else and place this box also compulsory we have to place now what is it already you are label in there guys here you can understand now in this layout i gave my username this x axis is how much guys i gave 100 you can see i gave what here 100 so obviously this box will be let's do name obviously i should give more how much more so you can roughly you take some values and try it but i can say you should take at least 200 so that it will come in front of that and y axis you can just take there hundred is there 10 extra you take it not more than always remember y axis 10 will be you know now you see it is coming in front of this everybody clear with this one guys So two hundred. If you are filling here, there is no gap. You can increase the x-axis. You can give somewhat like two to it. A more gap will. Username and this. Everybody clear? So those who are up to here, clear. You try to create this second label and second box. Pause this video and up to here you practice. If you got it, just comment me that sir completed. Everybody clear? Let me explain you the second now. Speed up. So P W D means what again, guys? Label. So I will label three. I will take. Now this property is everything I want as it is, guys. Correct. So I will copy paste this label two properties. I am going to copy paste in front of label. Instead of username, what I want, guys, here past. So let us give the past. Everybody clear? Place it. L B three dot place. You already know what is x axis and y axis. One small thing I will explain. Always remember, whatever the name x axis is there, you give same for the password because it will come in the exactly same like. That's why I'm writing x is equals to what is my lb two hundred. So here also you give exactly same to that. And y axis you should give if it is one ten, you make a difference of one fifty or some fifty difference you make. You can try different different values, no problem with that. Okay, so y means below to that one. Because here it is one ten, so this is one ten. So below that one means one fifty. We are rotating, so it will come. Similarly, you take the entry box. I will write here box two. Box two is equals to entry. And box two dot place in that rule only. X axis here is two twenty for that first box. See, first box x axis is how much? Similarly, you go for second box so that below to that one. Only change is what. Y axis, I said, and Y axis also. Remember, label three is one fifty. So here ten extra. Confusion? Don't get it, guys. Label one. See, label one. At box one, you check it. What is the difference? Label one is nothing but is to you. Label one and box. Here one fifty is there. Here we are having y is hundred, so for box I took ten is. Similarly here, for label I am taking y in one fifty, for y, uh, box I am taking one sixty. Why ten extra I am taking guys here? So because what you have to remember here is whenever the box we are taking, here by default the text some alignment is there above and below. That alignment is not there for box. If I not given here ten extra, what will happen? Let us observe here. You give same here one fifty here one fifty. So little bit, you see here it is coming up because by default alignment is. For text concept, you should remember this. Clear? Now last and final point, what you have to remember is this submit button. So whenever you want the button concept, so name itself you have to write PT one nothing but button. Button you can take. 
what is the button text you want i want the button text as submit so right there so and place there button so where to place that is very important here so bt1 dot place x axis sir where you want that button i want just below to this entry box only exactly what is the entry box x axis 220 so here also you write to it and y axis already there 160 is there i want below to that so i'm giving two now you check it you are getting exactly same log so everybody try to take one by one thing practice very properly all this concept and once you understand this layout you try to create your own layouts by taking some registration form name roll number average and try to create that layout if any doubts you are having you can comment me or you can ask in the class guys i will explain thank you for watching this